Over 20 years ago, I traded in and upgraded from single family house investing to commercial real estate investing. Two things happened to me right away. Number one, I was able to go from a full-time engineer and single parent to doing part-time engineering work and raising my son, spending more time with him, taking him to middle school and high school uh, in the morning and in the afternoons. That was awesome. The second thing that happened was I was able to get a glimpse of financial freedom. Here's what I mean by that. One day I was sitting uh, in my barber shop and my barber, his name is Pete as well, uh, he asked me the question, he goes, Pete, how do you define financial freedom? So I thought about that for a second and then I realized and I said, Pete, for me, financial freedom is when I can come down to your barber shop at 11 o'clock in the morning any day of the week meaning that I wasn't held down by a job, I didn't have to deal with the corporate craziness throughout the day, uh, I didn't have a W-2 paycheck to deal with, uh, I didn't have anyone to report to. To me, that was financial freedom, and that's what I achieved. So, I have a question for you. In fact, I have two questions for you. Number one is, if you, if you traded in your houses for commercial real estate investing like I did over 20 years ago, what life changes would you make? That's the first question. Second question is, do you currently own uh, rental houses? If, if yes, would you like to learn how to upgrade from houses to commercial real estate investing? If the answer is yes, you come to the right video. Hello everyone, I'm Peter Harris with Commercial Property Advisors. I am the author of this of my best-selling book, Commercial Real Estate Investing for Dummies. I also have my new bestseller here, Commercial Real Estate Investing for Beginners. And guess what? We also have the number one rated YouTube channel on commercial real estate investing, and that's because of you. So thank you very much. I'm also a coach and mentor to many commercial real estate investors all across this great nation of ours. So in today's video, you're going to learn how to upgrade from houses to commercial real estate investing. Let's get started. All right, let's start right here. I'm going to start with two very important things. Number one is the intimidation factor. You may be intimidated to go from houses to commercial, and I want to address that. You should not let intimidation uh, dictate your destiny. Right? Don't let uh, intimidation stop you from playing a much bigger game that you ought to be playing. I'm going to address that in a second. The second thing I want to address is uh, I want to give you compelling reasons to go from houses to commercial. Okay? All right, so let's get started with the intimidation factor, going from houses to commercial. Let me share with you uh, one of these four life uh, events for me. Right. Um, number one, commercial real estate. Yes, that was pretty scary for me to go into, right, at such a young age. Uh, number two, my first day of kindergarten was so intimidating, I almost died. No, I'm just kidding, but it felt like it, right? And uh, thirdly, leaving for college, right? I was a mama's boy, I'm proud to admit that, and leaving the nest and going away to some far off town by myself in a U-Haul truck with my brother, right, to start another life in, in, in college, that was scary as heck, right? And number four, asking my wife-to-be, who's my future wife, out on her first day, I can't tell you how horrifying that was. Very horrifying. But why do I share this? I share this because these four things, if I didn't overcome them, if I didn't do them and go through them, I wouldn't be where I am today. So same, the same it is for you, right? So these are, you may have your own intimidation factors that you have to overcome to live a bigger life, right? Okay, um, so the question is, with this intimidation factor, how do we deal with it? We deal with it, uh, we deal with your intimidation, which, which turns into fear that stops you, so the fear dissipates with knowledge, okay? So our job here at our company is to give our students knowledge so that they can make knowledge-based decisions. That's how you overcome the intimidation factor, the fear factor, is to gain knowledge 
get help with a coach and mentor so you can, you can make the, the knowledge-based decisions to better your life, okay? All right, the second thing I wanna share is to give you uh, a few compelling reasons why you should consider going from houses to commercial. Here's the first compelling reason and uh, it's that in commercial, the cash flow is more stable and is less erratic. I can't tell you how many people I know that own single family homes. These are students before they came into our program of how buying houses didn't help them leave their job, right? Because the cash flow was so erratic and on the low side, right? So that's number one. With commercial, cash flow is not erratic and is much higher than a single family home, much more stable, okay? Number two is can you retire with rental houses? Let me just share it this way. Uh, I know a lot of wealthy people, right? A lot of them. And most of them, uh, you know, got their wealth through real estate. The type, commercial real estate. They may have started with single family homes, but what allowed them to retire and live the life they live up in the hills is commercial real estate. That's just my opinion of what I see in, in, in 25 years. Number three, with commercial, you can force the appreciation. You can't do that with houses. So here's what I mean. With commercial real estate, we can force the value upward, we can force the appreciation by simply raising the rents and raising the net operating income. And with a single family home, uh, if you were to raise the rents, big deal. The, the value doesn't go up because the value of your home is determined by what's selling in your neighborhood. In commercial, the value of a building uh, has a large part to do with the income generated in the property. So the higher the net operating income on your commercial property, the higher the value. So if you're good at operating your property, raising the rents, maintaining expenses, you can become a pretty wealthy person, okay? Number four, people always need a place to sleep. Right? And I bring that up because uh, a majority of our deals at our company are small, medium, and large apartment buildings because it's the most popular asset today. Right? And it's been good for many, many years. How many years? Since I started over 20 years ago. Right? I still do it today. It's still a good asset. I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but it's good today and it probably will be good tomorrow. The need for apartments and for people to lay their heads uh, the millennials not wanting to buy homes, the uh, seniors, you know, going back in apartments, all these magnificent trends are causing uh, our apartment business to boom and continue to boom, okay? And number five, one good deal is all it may take. You guys have heard me say that before. So one good commercial deal is all it may take to give you financial freedom. We have proof of that in some of our previous videos from other students, okay? So one deal is all it may take. All right, so the last thing I wanna share with you, I'm gonna give you proof. I said, here's proof, and it's gonna to point to a video. There's a video that's gonna appear on this link, and the video is gonna share with you how one of our students took his two single family home rentals, and he sold them and traded up into a 34 unit apartment building. So watch that video so you can see in detail the process he went through to go from those houses to his apartment buildings and what the net effect was on his cash flow and equity, okay? So it's amazing what happens, uh, what happened when he did that. All right, okay. So the next thing I wanna share with you is I'm gonna give you the actual how-to steps of going from houses and upgrading into commercial. Let's do that next. Do you recall a few minutes ago, I asked you the question, what life changes would you make once you upgrade it from uh, houses to commercial? What would those be? I consider that to be your why. And there's a saying, if the why is powerful and is meaningful, and then the how-to is not so difficult. So in this portion of the training, I want to share with you the how-to. I'm gonna give you five steps, five how-tos to go from your houses to commercial. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you have to do, right, is get educated, get coaching. That's what you have to do. Let's face it, for some of you, the house or the rental that you consider selling or 
or pulling money out of to do this commercial, it's your life savings, right? And we have to be very, very careful with that, especially if you're up in age, right? We have, sometimes we have one shot, right? So don't do it by yourself. Don't try to do it by yourself. Get educated and get help, right? So what we want to do is once you get educated and you get coaching, you get an advisor, what happens is, as, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, you can start to make knowledge-based knowledge, uh, knowledge decisions. That's what you want to do to help you dissipate some of the fear that you have. Got it? Okay, so number one is to get educated, get coaching, get an advisor. Don't do it by yourself. Number two is you have to calculate your money, right? What I mean by this is how much of a down payment do you have? If you were to sell your home or refinance it and pull money out, how much do you have? for a down payment, right? If you can sell your homes or refinance and you can pull out $250,000, then you could buy something north of a million dollars in commercial property. You got it? All right, now, they, I'm gonna go deeper than that. So if you were to do that, right, if you were to sell your home, we don't want to pay capital gains taxes as much as we, we want to, right? We don't want to. So a strategy to defer or or to do this transaction tax-free or defer the tax, right, uh, is uh, I have a video called the 1031 Exchange. It's an IRS tax code that allows you to sell your single family home and take all the profits into your next commercial property so long as the value is greater, you can defer all the taxes and pay no capital gains taxes. I have a video called the 1031 uh, Exchange Step-by-Step uh, -step Case Study. So that link will appear right now and you can um, watch it, okay? So calculate your amount. Step three, you need to choose one commercial asset type, meaning that if you want to do apartments, study apartments. If you want to do mobile home parks, study mobile home parks. If you want to do office buildings, study office buildings. Whatever you choose, choose one, right? That's just my recommendation. As I mentioned before, I don't know anyone who's really, really, really good in apartments and really, really, really good in retail, right? So there's one or the other, okay? Now, you can have a mixture of both, but to be a bona fide expert and to be well known in that category, uh, you need to focus on one, especially if you're a beginner, right? I have an acronym on, on FOCUS, right? F-O-C-U-S, follow one course until successful. Okay, it's my life moniker. I'm a person who believes in the power of focus. Got it? Okay, so that's step three, choose one. Step four, you need to build your team, right? So again, you wanna get educated, get coaching, you wanna make knowledge-based decisions, right? Who can help you with that? You have to build a team. Your team will consist of agents, lenders, property managers, attorneys, contractors, maybe someone to help you with due diligence. Get advisors, but you need to build a solid team. Got it? Okay? Teamwork makes the dream work. That is so true. All right. And the last one is you need to take knowledge-based action. Okay? You, after you have compiled one, two, three, and four, the fifth step is to take knowledge-based action. There is no higher form of learning than jumping into something and getting started once you have one through four, okay? Again, don't do it by yourself, get help, get educated. Now, when you, when you take your knowledge-based action, what does that look like? So what is that, Peter? It, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Let me write this down, part my back here. Okay, it means you need to make offers. That's right, as scary as it sounds, you need to make offers. That's where you're going to learn, right? Um, so making offers forces you to go into the game. And if you think about once you make an offer, guess what you've done? You've analyzed it with your team. You ran the numbers. You, check out the, you checked out the market. You did all those things because you have, you have completed, prior to that, steps one through four, okay? So I'm not throwing you, you into the fire with nothing. I'm throwing you in the fire with one through four must do action items. Got it? All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you want more videos like this, 
go on to uh, our website commercialpropertyadvisors.com or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and get more videos like this. I just want to thank everyone for watching this video and making us number one in YouTube. So everyone, thank you so much for uh, being with me and learning how to upgrade from houses to commercial real estate investing. I'll see you at the next video.